Hey gang, how we doing this morning? Um, so we just finished up going over an activity where you got to play around with, with swingy things. Okay, you got to play around with these swinging things, and we're going to be very scientific about it. We're going to we're going to call these pendulums. Now, your job was to do an investigation where you had to change something about this uh, about this pendulum, whether it be the length, the mass, the angle, what whatever it was you chose. As long as you could put it into numbers, you were okay. And then we needed to see how that change affected the way that the pendulum moved. Now, I was, as you know, I was really vague, or we'll call that open, about how you could do this. And that was intentional, all right? Because one of the things that we are trying to learn in this class is, is how to explain what we observe. And, and that's gonna be impo important because in a, in a science class, and just science in general, we focus on, on what we communicate and, and how we communicate it. And we need to make sure that that's done in a way um, that we are able to, to understand and others are able to understand what it is that, that we observed. And here's what I need you to do now at this point, okay? You've already done the investigation. And I want you to take that document, okay? So remember that you were supposed to make a document that had uh, four main ideas related to, to your investigation. I think one of them was to draw, or to, to make a question. The other one was to, uh, oh, do a sketch, and then keep track of the numbers that you were collecting, um, and then explain how those are answered, uh, or how those numbers answered the question. All right, so those four things. And, and then what I want you to do is go and um, go and post that online in where we where I gave that to you for the or post that document for your group. And after you've posted it, here's what I want to do next. I want you to do next. I want you to find a document that another group posted, okay? Somebody that you you weren't working with. And I want you to look at that closely. Take some time to, to kind of go over it, to, to see what it is they did. Try to figure out what that group did and, and what they found based on the, the document that they posted. All right? After you've gone over that and looked at it closely, I want you to do, give two comments on the, their document. All right? And these are the comments that I, that I want you to make. The first comment is a, is a I noticed. All right? And what you do with I noticed comments is what's something that you noticed in their investigation based on the document, all right? So you're just saying, hey, this, I looked at your document. This is something that I saw. All right. Next, I want you to do what's called an I wonder statement, all right? The way an I wonder statement is, is your, what, what's something that you saw that you'd like some more information or clarification on? So you could say something like, oh, well, when I looked at it, I wondered, and then fill in the blank, all right? Now, as a recap, here's what you're gonna do for this, this assignment. You're gonna post your doc for your investigation that you did, all right? Once you've done that, you're gonna find someone else's document, and, uh, and you're going to give it a unique, oh, and that's the thing, is I know there's gonna be, some people are gonna be we're gonna have multiple posts on, on each doc. So when you do your comments, they have to be unique. It can't be something that someone else has already, has already commented on, all right? So once again, recap, post your doc, review the, someone else's document, and then give the unique I noticed and I wondered comments, and then be ready to discuss what it is that, that you saw, all right? Okay, hopefully that explains it. Let me know if you have any questions.